Here's our sash for the arch top window. What's going to happen next is I'm going to remove all the clamps. I'm going to install dowel pins in all the joinery to make sure that it never comes apart even if the glue fails. And then I'm going to use this to create a template for the stained glass that's going to go inside of it. closely at this joint. You can see the wood chipped out from the routering. Uh, the joint isn't exactly perfect. And then this was originally screwed and that was the clamp that held these two pieces together. I let the glue dry completely, pull the screw out, drill a hole through the screw hole, and then install glue using a skewer that you steal from your wife because they buy these in the um, kitchen section at the grocery store to make shish kebab. That's how you get the glue spread all the way through the inside of the joint. Then you pound the dowel through and saw it flush. You're kind of left with a mess, but don't really worry about that because it's all going to be sanded anyways. And as far as the bad joinery goes, this, after the, pan, the glass panel is installed, it gets putty all around the edge. You fill up all this in with putty and shape it, and then it's painted, and you'll never see it in a million years. So it's foolish to waste a ton of time getting these joints exactly perfect. It comes like an ego thing that's just a, a huge waste of time. The next step on this sash is going to be to continue with the doweling process, and then this will be sawn flush. And you'll put an angle on the bottom of the sash for water prevention and a place to install the foam insulation. Size of this because this is only approximate. Is 
we have to take a clean side of the pattern. We have to put our frame on it. We'll trace this out in pencil on the inside, and then we'll cut it exactly so we know that it fits. And then we'll transfer that stained glass design pattern onto the cardboard, and we'll cut and fit all the glass and lead on this piece of cardboard. Once the glass is complete, we'll install it in this sash, and in the meantime, while I'm doing the glass, I'll prepare the sash by painting everything, fixing all the flaws that I have in it, and then we'll be ready to install the stained glass and install this sash in the building and get the plastic off the window. when you're working with a utility knife is put your holding hand out in front and then cut this way. You don't want to cut towards your fingers because you can cut your hand real bad. They said that's the number one reason home improvement people go to the emergency room is utility knife cuts. The most important thing to do all the time when you're going through this process. Keep checking to make sure because sometimes this fits in here nice with a lot of space around the edge for the putty. And everything is directional on this because it may not fit exactly right if you flip it over. This one will fit in here, but I can see it's it's rubbing right there. There's always going to be some small differences whenever you're creating custom parts like this. So now I'll take a pencil and write because I'm going to work from the inside with the glass design. So I'll just write in big letters here inside and make sure the whole time I'm working. I'm looking at that. Here's the final step in being prepared to go. And I, I did change something. Instead of transferring the drawing from this paper to our pattern, I decided to, because I don't need to keep the pattern, I can just sacrifice it. This is a removable spray glue. I'm just going to put this on here. You can reposition it as many times as you need to. And that's just there so it's not wiggling around while you're trying to pull information off the pad. Okay. And the reason I mount this on a separate board is because this workbench is also the outfeed to my table saw. So if something else comes up and I need to move this out of the way, I'll be able to. Now I'll be at the work. 